Hi, it's Starnell with Way Over Recipes. And today, I'm going to be cooking up a whole chicken in the Oster French Door Digital Air Fry Oven. And we'll see how it does cooking up a whole chicken right now. So the ingredients I have here for this cook, one whole five pound chicken. I'm going to be using some extra light olive oil on it and going to, for seasoning, going to be using some good old Old Bay seasoning as well as some lemon pepper seasoning. I'm just getting the container open so that I'll be ready to put my fluids and my seasoning on. So basically here in this pan I'm just going to go ahead and boil it up and then season it up and I'll get it over into the bake pan. I've got the actual cooker's bake pan in the back here. So just going to go ahead and oil things up now. Alright, so I got the bottom side all oiled and seasoned up and just uh, putting my seasonings on the top side of the bird now to finish this up. And before I get the Old Bay over the top of it, I'm going to go ahead and start warming the cooker up. So I'm going to hit the roast button here and I'm going to up the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit even. So we'll leave it at 400. Cooking time. We'll leave that at 60 minutes. I do have my eye grill too here. I'll be putting meat probes into the breast and thigh. If you're interested in that, although nothing in this video is sponsored, there's a link to my Amazon, Amazon shop in the video description. You can look there in the temperature section and you can get the meat thermometer that I'll be using. You can also uh, basically find cookers like this and others there in the Amazon shop as well. But hitting start, start preheating things to 400 getting my seasonings across the top of the bird here so it gets nice and seasoned up there and with that I'm going to go ahead and start putting my meat probes in I guess I'll use this probe here to put down in the thigh so let's stick this one right here like that nice and into the thigh and this one We'll pop in the breasts over here like this. So there we go. Got probes in the breast and the thigh. I've got the eye grill too turned on, so it'll be basically tracking temperature. And once the preheat's done, we'll get it on in there. All right, preheat is done. It's gonna get it on in. on in there, close up, see if I can close up without these cords being too much in the way. Let's see. Get this one to the middle. There we go. That's good. Hit start with that. The meat temperature basically is better reflected now. When I first showed you the iGrill 2 temperature earlier, it was still coming down for room temperature, having just been poked into the meat. But now we see what the actual meat temperature is in the breast and the meat temperature over the thigh is the same. So we'll just go ahead and let things cook for a while and I'll bring you back. Alright, so things have been going for a little over 55 minutes now. Meat in the breast is at 114, meat in the thigh is 116, so pretty even cook. But we're going to need more than four minutes and some seconds so I'm going to push it out to basically add let's say another 30 minutes or so so that we have plenty of time well let me come down some so I can well I guess I'll have to leave it at the 35 and change because that's basically when you get up I guess above 30 they put it up there like that in five minute increments. So this is going to just let it continue to cook and we'll see where things end up and how much longer it takes. Okay so about an hour 25 minutes have passed. We're still not done and only five minutes left on the clock. I'm going to push it up a little more. Push it out till there's about 15 minutes left. So that there's plenty of time left 
for you who are new to this channel, I go all the way to 165 and I know all about carryover. It's just not my thing. I just choose not to do that, but respect you who like to do that, but that's not me. So, breast meat is at 156. Thigh meat is at 165. So, I'm going to let it continue to cook. We'll see how things are looking then. Of course, I could have covered it with foil, but I wanted to let it keep going like this so that we see how things look when it's all said and done. And it does look like that oil is helping to put some crisp on the skin. It does look like the skin's starting to get some crisp on it, so that's cool. So, I'll bring you on back in a little bit. So about an hour, 34 minutes or so, and we've hit 165 in the breast, 175 in the thigh, and so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel twice to stop the cooker. I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken on out. I'll turn the light on now. Alright, so I'm going to get it on out. Makes it easy with these French doors. Turned around a little bit. I think I'm going to try and get these probes out before I pull the extra chicken out of the cooker here. But let me know in a comment how you think that looks. I think it looks pretty decent. Got some cooking, some crispness on the top, a little char on the top, but not too much. So there we go. So I'm going to basically close up and let things uh, let's close up here. Going to let it set and rest for maybe 10 minutes. All right. So give things about 10 minutes to reabsorb juices. So I'm just going to spin it around here so I can cut into it, into this breast meat. You see that crisp on the skin there. Getting some, some meat off of here. Seems really juicy. So, let me get some of this skin here. Check that out a little bit too. Oops, don't want to get it all. But that's cool. Alright, so with this, we'll do a taste test. So, thank God for this chicken. And let's go ahead and do a taste. Got some skin and some meat on here. Pretty good. I think I'll I'll finish. Well, I'll have another bite of the meat. Okay, the chicken is super juicy and tender. Super juicy and tender. The meat has some crisp to it. Turned out really nice because the outside got some crisp. The inside is super moist and juicy turned out really well. The cooker, it basically roasted that chicken really good. So I really am pleased with the results. And so nothing in this video is sponsored. As I mentioned in the video description, lots of ways to help the channel, such as cookbook, merch, membership, all that good stuff, plus referral link. And also there'll be a link to a printable version of the recipe. And so with all of that said, if you did like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon, and get eating.